Hi guys and welcome to Intuition Study Services. In today's episode, we'll be looking at another variation of lightning maths. The quickest, fastest and easiest way to learn, remember and know the three times table in just a few seconds. So let's take a look. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is draw a noughts and crosses grid or a tic-tac-toe grid. This is normally a three by three grid as so. Then the next thing we want to do is we want to fill in each of these boxes. So we start from the bottom left corner and we count from one upwards all the way to nine. So we'll put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then finally, instead of writing 10, we just put zero to represent the 10 on the outside, okay? And as you can notice, the numbers are aligned to the right side of each box or in each compartment. And there's a reason for that, okay? And also, we're starting from one, going up the scale to nine, but then we go back from the bottom again and carry on counting. Okay, so we have three rows going across. So we go to the top row, the first row, and we want to write zeros in each column. And then the second row, we want to put in number one in each column. And then in the third row, we want to put in the number two in each column. And then the number on the outside, we put a three next to it. And if you haven't noticed already, there's a three times table. So over here, we've got 1 times 3, which is 3. Here we've got 2 times 3, which is 6. Here we've got 3 times 3, which is 9. Here we've got 4 times 3, which is 12. Here we've got 5 times 3, which is 15. Here we've got 6 times 3, which is 18. Here we've got 7 times 3, which is 21. Here we've got 8 times 3, which is 24. Here we've got 9 times 3, which is 27. And finally, we've got 10 times 3, which is 30. And if you write this out a few times, you'll know it in a matter of seconds. And then you'll be able to repeat it and say it mentally, very fluently. Let me know how well you did with this in the comments below. Okay, so everybody should have done well on those, but if you feel you need a bit more practice, then feel free to rewind this video and you can work through the technique again. If you found this tutorial helpful, then do leave a like, comment, share with anyone who you feel this could benefit, and do subscribe for all the latest lightning maths tips, tricks, revision and exam techniques. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.